Hi there, this is Dave. Um, this is going to be quite a surprise to quite a few of you because um, I haven't made a video tutorial in 3ds Max for around about four years. I think it was around about 2012 or so, the last video tutorial I made. Um, I've been quite busy doing other things like making uh, uh, videos and special effects and stuff like that and also doing a lot of gaming and gaming videos. So I thought, being as it's been a while, I should, uh, I should, I should make one. So today's tutorial is uh, basically how to uh, animate a tree. Uh, as you can see this tree is uh, is selected and if I scrub through there's no um, keyframes in the timeline there and it's just basically a still ob object. Now this tutorial will work much better if you have um, geometry um, as the leaves. Now I know a lot of tree models basically have planes um, that have a texture added onto them um, with an opacity map and they basically just duplicate it and just cover it all over the branches. Now, as you can see with this, uh, <coughs> it, is, it is just basically a it's a, it's a real tree with, with geometry acting as the leaves, no planes at all. So this is probably what you're looking for. Now we will get back on with the tutorial now and I will show you how to do this. So. The first thing you want to do is add a, a bend modifier to it. You then want to open this up and make sure that the center is placed directly at the base of the tree, right at the bottom of the trunk here. So make sure it's there. And that's as about as center as we're going to get. There you go, right at the bottom of the tree. That's cool. And make sure that the, uh, the the gizmo covers the the whole tree. Right, so that's all we need to do with for that. Let's just close that down. Uh, make sure that your um, the auto key is selected. Um, select one of the um, the keyframe options that suits you. I'm going to be using this one here, which is the uh, the in out tangents for new keys. Uh, I'm just going to select. A actually, no, I'm not going to set it at zero. What I'm going to do is and get the angle and just move it to minus three. As you can already see here, the tree has already started to move. So obviously, there you go. I mean, that alone. I mean, it's it's, it's probably going crazy there. It must be in a hurricane or something. But because the, uh, the 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 center gizmo is right at the bottom in here, that's where it's centered. The whole tree will bend around that center. So we don't want anything too crazy, unless you're, that's what you're looking for. We want it to be a very, very subtle thing. So I'm just going to go to minus three, just so that it's just slightly off. Right, now we want to do go forward quite a bit. We don't want this to be too close together. As you can see, my, uh, my keyframe range is set to 300. I want to go up to around about sort of 34. And then we want to do is bring it up to two so that's plus two so now from 34 back to zero you can see it's just slightly moved just a little bit now just move it up a little bit more it doesn't have to be exactly um, exact, you know, exact numbers the more random you are the better you want it to look random so that's so that's what we're looking for so again go back to the minus again and I'm just going to go to minus two. So as you can see, it's just moving just a little bit, very very subtle. You go up to 112, and I'm just going to do 1.5, and go a bit further. So 160. And what we do is highlight the um, the start keyframe, hold shift, and drag it over to here. So now what we've got is a is a full loop. A few keyframes in here just to make it look a little bit random and it comes back to the same keyframe as the zero. So obviously you can see after here it stops, it does not animate anymore. So what we're going to do is go up to our graph editors, curve editor, make sure your tree is selected and you go down to the modified object down here, the bend, and make sure that the angle is highlighted. Then we're going to go controller, out of range types, loop, 
Now it's important, like I said, that you get the, um, the, the base key to be at the end of your animation. Because if you don't, the animation will not look right after you move past this point. So if I just go to zero and press play, it goes all the way through and it carries on. It carries on animating. And that's what we're looking for. So we've got basically now we have um, a tree that's animating all on its own, and it'll just carry on going on for as long as you need it to. But so long as you've got a bit of randomness in between. Now, if you're thinking, oh, my God, that's going too fast or it's going too slow, um, just select the keyframe here, right click, and where is it? Uh, make sure that you've got show selection range ticked here. So obviously right, right click and then you should, you should be able to see that. What you want to do is highlight all your keys and you can make them faster. Obviously this is going to look too fast. Or you can slow them down. Just so that, and just, just have a little play around until you get what you're looking for. So obviously I've slowed that down so it looks like it's you know, just casually blowing in the wind. And again if you're not satisfied with, with um, with how it how it bends, you can you can change one of these keyframes in here just to either increase or decrease how much it bends. So there you go, you got the um, you got the trunk bending now. Now what we're going to do is animate the leaves. <coughs> As I said, this is why you need the geometry for this because again, it won't work with um, the 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 plane planes added with um, opacity maps. It will not work at all. Um, it might do, but it's, it just won't look very good. So now what we're going to do is select, uh, where is it, where is it, uh, noise, that's what we're looking for, noise. Now I'm just going to leave that there for as it is for the moment, on editable mesh we're going to select the vertex and we're going to select the, the highest vertices that we can find. So that's pretty much close to the top. We're going to open the soft selection, use soft selection. Now instantly as you can see this has suddenly changed colour. Now what this is doing is basically selecting all the vertices around that centre point there. So and you can see that they're quite red and orange at the top and then they fade out to yellow to green to blue. Now the, the more warmer colours that are highlighted has the more influence so obviously if they're blue, they'll have no influence. If they're kind of light blue or green, they'll have a little bit of influence. But what you want is anything that's kind of a dark red or orange. Because that means that it's, it has the most influence over it. So to change that, we're going to come down to the fall off. And we're going to increase it until all these start to turn yellowy orange. Now what we want to try and avoid if we can, it's quite difficult, is that these branches down here aren't affected so we want them to stay blue. Now there are obviously branches within the leaves but we're not really going to see them too well because all the leaves are going to be pretty much covering them up. So get all the way down here and just try and pinch it a little bit just so that obviously it's, it's affected more. And try and get as much of that as we can get. There we go. So I mean, these branches down here are affected by it, but like I said, this is it's, it doesn't really matter too much, just so long as obviously they're covered. I mean, these these leaves here aren't really affected at all. So let's just bring it up. Oh, no, no, we're starting to get there. We go. So now, as you can see, all the leaves are orange and the last few uh, vertices down here are blue and that's what we're looking for. So we go out to our noise, a center, we want our center to stay pretty much around there. As you can see that it kind of cuts off right down here because we don't want it to affect the bottom of the branch so that is pretty good because that, that box there covers covers the, uh, the leaves. Um, obviously if this doesn't um, you can just um, get the gizmo here and move it up and down and do whatever you need to but that's working pretty fine okay uh, we're going to turn on fractal we're going to animate the noise 
and I'm going to put this to 1, 1, 1. Bring the scale down to 2. Now I will say that this might be different on on um, on, diff on different models. I mean, if you, if you if your three D model is quite big, um, you'll probably need to bring it down. If it's really tiny, you might need to raise it. Again, just have a little play with the settings until you get it right. So at the moment we've got it set to one one one. Uh, scale is two. Fractal noise is on. And you can see already that the vertices are going crazy. So if I just turn this off and come back up to it, see how that looks. It's very subtle. It's very, very subtle. And obviously you can see some um some some bending in the trees here, and sorry in the branches here. But we're not really gonna notice that too much because obviously the leaves are already doing their job covering it up. You see? And there we go, we've got our leaves already blow blowing in the wind. I mean, if you think this is, if you think they're moving too fast, you can bring the frequency down to around about nine, and they'll blow, but they'll blow at a slower rate. If you think the scale's too much, sorry, the um, the, the strength is too much, you can just just tweak, just tweak these a little bit. This also kind of like smooths out the uh, the, the branch here, just a little bit. And like, like I said, you know, it's it's a subtle effect. And uh, when you're happy with with um, you know, with your final result, what you can do is hold Shift and drag another copy. Okay, so we want a copy of that. Now we've got two trees. Now if I just rotate this around a little, make sure that all these are highlighted. Obviously, uh, that end keyframe suddenly appeared. That is obviously your um, animate noise so obviously if you need this to be longer you'll need to drag that with you um, these keyframes here are obviously the uh, the bend for the, for the trunk so again you can slow that down a little bit so we've got this tree here the keyframes uh, go up to around about 229 I think it is 28 29 because I've dragged this over this one's a lot shorter so what we will now have is now that I've revolved the tree around a little bit as well we should have two trees that animate completely different if you want this one to be a little bit more blowy with the leaves there you go, the leaves on this one move a lot faster than this one and the uh, the tree trunk moves a lot quicker than this one does so now you've got two trees, they're identical trees, but you've, you've you know, rotated them around and you've changed the animation slightly. So it looks like they're blowing completely independently on their own and you've got a little bit of randomness. Now you keep copying them, as many of these trees as you want, place them wherever you want, and you eventually have a complete forest with trees that look like they're blowing in the wind with the leaves moving as well. And that is pretty much the tutorial that's just as simple as it goes I mean this will work with pretty much any tree that you use providing obviously that they've got geometry um, on the leaves um, you could do it with bushes you, you can do it with anything that is how to animate a tree and I do hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial I do plan on making more in the future like I said I always do the um, uh, the, the, uh, the the basic entry level tutorials for 3ds Max because um, you know, a lot of people when they first come into Max they see the interface and they look so intimidated and frightened and, that. and I just kind of try and do the um, you know, the very simple tutorials that people can work with and understand just so they can get an idea of how Max works and um, like I said it's been a long time since I've made one and I do hope that you would do enjoy this one um, if, you, if you did like the video please subscribe, um, it helps me a lot and it encourages me to make more videos if I know that people want more videos made. So um, until next time, goodbye.